I think, in fact, that the burkini is indeed a sad symbol of Islam today going backwards on gender issues. I cannot personally, as a uh, self-described reforming secular liberal Muslim, I cannot personally endorse the notion that there is something to be ashamed of in the female form. I know that within my own Muslim communities, men can perfectly walk down the beach uh, taking their tops off, uh, bearing their legs, and, and, and feel absolutely no shame in the male form. And so I feel somewhat disturbed at the medieval notion that the female uh, form, a woman's hair, a woman's legs, are something to be ashamed of. And that, in fact, even that modesty equates to covering up the, female's, uh, the female form, as if somehow a woman who doesn't cover her hair is immodest. So I do think that, that the burkini ban, or the, sorry, the desire to wear a burkini is a symbol of Islam today going backwards on gender issues. However, and here's the but, France's ban on this burkini, I think, is also a sad symbol of liberalism today going backwards in response. And so I don't think it has to be a zero-sum game. I think there's an intelligent position here for liberals to take. That intelligent position is to continue on the march of progressive uh, views to say that a woman should have the right to show her body without feeling ashamed, without the cultural and societal pressures that come from within her own community that tell her somehow is immodest uh, if she wants to feel the wind on her hair, that somehow there is something licentious about a, woman free flow, a woman's free-flowing hair, the wind blowing through it, the sun shining on her skin, and her enjoying the feel of that warmth and the glow of the sun, that somehow there's something immodest in this. I think liberals have, a, have every right to reserve their own right to criticize uh, this view that is rooted in medieval understandings, medieval notions of femininity and masculinity, while defending any woman's right to dress how she likes.